Hey guys, Mr. Kyle at Myers Mathematics. So uh, today is uh, D-Day. If you guys haven't heard about that, it's uh, Storm Area 51 Day. If you're not sure what that is, you can check it out on the web. But basically this guy made a, a Facebook page and um, as a joke and now everybody's taking him seriously and they're going out there and they made a music festival about it and, and everything. So check check that out. It's a, it's a fun little internet search for you. But um, yeah, oh, also, I forgot to mention this yesterday, but yesterday was the last day of palindrome week, uh, which means it was the date, if you don't include the 20, is is the same forwards and backwards. So like yesterday was 9-19-19, which is the same if you say it backwards, 9-19-19-9-1-9-1-9-1-9-1-9-1-9-1-9, yeah, there we go. And then every day before that, all the way back until 9-19. Um, 10. And actually, no. Yeah, never mind. 9-10 was the first day. Um, so yeah, palindrome week, plus a few days. So a little, uh, little fun spiel there too. But um, yeah, so it's the 20th. We've got four problems to work on. x squared plus 7x minus 8, x squared minus 7x minus 8, x squared plus 7x minus 18, and x squared minus 7x minus 18. So let's uh, jump right in. So we've got x squared plus 7x minus 8. All right, so I need to find two things that multiply to give me 8. So maybe 1 and 8. I always try that first, usually, always. And uh, we need to make one of them negative because I need to get negative 8, right? So I can't multiply 1 and 8 and get negative 8. So how about we make the 1 negative? All right, so we did that. And if I do that, I get negative 1 plus 8 is positive 7. So that works. And I just throw some x's in front. And I'm done with that factoring problem. So let's move on to the next one. It's going to be the exact same thing, just with a minus 7x. So it's actually going to work out pretty much exactly the same way. Um, I still get 1 and 8 as factors here, except this time I'm going to make the 8 negative, And that way, 1 minus 8 is negative 7 to get that negative 7 instead of the positive 7. So then I just throw an x's in front, and I'm done with that one as well. And then for my last two here, x squared plus 7x minus 18. x squared plus 7x minus 18. So um, I always start out with 1 and 18, right? We're 1 in that number. Um, this one's definitely not going to work because I need to get 7, right? So negative 1 plus 18, that's, that's a no-go, right? Um, so let's try 2 and 9. Right? And the only other thing that I could try would be 3 and 6, right? But 2 and 9 is actually going to work, because if I make the 2 negative and the 9 positive, negative 2 plus 9 is positive 7, right? Positive 7. So there we go. Get that in there, get that in there. And then we're good to go. And then for the last one here, got x squared minus 7x minus 18. So then... Same thing. I'm going to skip the 1 and the 18 and go straight to the 2 and the 9. So 2 and 9 here, except this time I'm going to make the 9 negative and the 2 positive so that I get my answer just like that. 